So the other horror skip has a lot of layers. There's a lot of tricks used on that skip. There's like a lot of things that had to align for that to be possible in the first place. So we're on this room, but this time we're gonna do the enchantment. Not on this sword, but on the Scramasax. So here you just hold down and do it on the Scramasax. And then same thing, just cancel it. But the idea here is to have the Scramasax. Because every time you enchant an item, you're gonna have that item equipped. No matter what, even if you cancel the enchantment. Alright, so this time is not that important if you fail the transition here. It actually doesn't matter. It's still faster to attack the ladder. If you fail the attack, it doesn't really matter. So here, there's a lot of stuff to cover. So what we want to do here is we want to get past the trigger with an animation, which is this animation, double attack. So you see, Anthony actually moves a little bit with that. It's a lot actually. So we want to pass the trigger using that animation. But to do that, we have to set up some stuff. So the first thing we got to set up is you want to examine this thing. So it's B three times. So one, two, three. That's the first thing you want to do. And that's very important because that allows Anthony to be always animated, which is a state where your animations don't get canceled by text boxes. All right, so that's the first step. You just go here, examine three times, all right? That's the easy part. Then from here, we want to store this examine prompt. And that's a little bit harder. What you want to do is you want to position yourself to do an attack downwards, like looking downwards. The most important thing about this attack is that it doesn't get caught by the walls like that. So you can perform two attacks, okay? As far as you can perform two attacks, you're fine. And you don't want to be this close. That's like too close. You want to be a little bit farther away from the, the library. And from here, the inputs you want to do is A twice and B twice. Very fast, okay? As fast as you can. So that was too far away, actually. All right, so A twice is to do a double attack. The second attack is actually buffered. And B twice is to open this. So you examine and open this thing. And then you gotta wait a little bit and press B to get rid of this. And if you do it fine, if, if your timing was good, you're gonna see the examine here, okay? If you don't see the examine here, you didn't got it and you gotta try again. Uh, that's the important part, that you get the examine here. And that means you can examine this from everywhere in the room, okay? So, that's how I didn't got it, for example. So you can just go back and try it again. Until you get it. So, A, A, B, B. And this is actually important. I'm happy that this happened. If you're too slow on the second B, I think, on one of the inputs, uh, you get a soft lock here. <laughs> There's no way around this. Like you can't press anything. You just soft lock. So that's kind of important if you want to go for this. Remember the input is A twice very fast and then B twice very fast. So then when you got it, it's not over yet. We want to position ourselves close to a trigger, probably around here. And from here we do this the exact same thing. Just A twice and B twice. So that was too close actually. So A A B B. You didn't hear the sound, that's because of the emulator. On console you can hear Anthony finishing his attack. He actually attacked twice, so he advanced a little bit. So if now I get rid of this, I'm farther away from the trigger. Alright? On console, you actually have the audio feedback of the two attacks. You will know if you do two attacks successfully. The second attack will actually sound on, on the desk here. It's, it's gonna sound like this. 
Okay? Like that. Alright? So you're, you're gonna hear the second attack hitting the desk. And if you got that with the, with the message open, that means you get it. Okay? You don't hear it right here, but on console you will hear it. And from here, there is a possibility that the camera fucks up. I think it depends on your movement. If that happens, you can just do the strat of the other, you know, like go here and then down. But usually the camera is gonna be okay. And you just go this way. And that's it, that's all the layers. The good thing is that the timing for pressing A twice, B twice is the same on the two parts of that trick, you know, on the library and on the other part. Probably the hardest part is getting the nice setup here, nice position. I kind of have a visual cue, but I I try to don't use it anymore because I, I like to do this like fast. I go here and attack immediately. But if you want a visual cue, for me a good visual cue is having Anthony around this angle and then looking here in the boards on the ceiling. You're gonna see a tiny triangle here between the boards and the carpet. You want the triangle to be this big. If it doesn't exist yet, you're likely not going to have to to get it. Like from from here is like too far away. And if the triangle is too big, like that, like it's not no longer a triangle, you, you also won't get it. Because your first attack is gonna be enough for the trigger. You can have all the cues you want, like what Sir does is he looks just at the position relative to the desk, like here. I used to look at the triangle here. <laughs> There's like different visual cues. Eventually what you want to do, if you want to master this, is just do it immediately. Like just running into the thing. Probably won't work. No, that, that actually worked. So that's the ideal, the optimal way. Just react and do it fast. One last detail. After you do the VPROM storage, don't go close to this because that will trigger the thing. You will trigger the examine if you go there and you're gonna lose your storage, okay? So you don't wanna go near the trigger of the library. Just wanna keep going down, of course. All right. And that's it for Anthony.